Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and a fabulous weekend. Today is actually Sunday and I thought I would sit down and do an update to this video right here. If you recall, I did pick up two bags in this video. One of them was a YSL camera bag and the other one was a Chloe Woody tote which I had been wanting for so long. And I, a lot of you have messaged me on Instagram saying, did you keep the bag? Did you get a different bag what did you end up doing so I thought I would sit down and film an update did I keep the woody Chloe tote or did I return it for something else let's find out without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right into the video so as you know, I had picked up the Chloe Woody tote. This was the crossbody tote, and I really, really loved it. It was a beautiful linen color, but then it had black. It was actually linen and blue is what it called, but it kind of looked black, and I really, really liked it in the unboxing. But I have to say, I started taking a look at my wardrobe and I was having a little bit of a hard time mashing it up. Even though I do wear a lot of black, I don't really wear a lot of black in the summer months. And the whole reason I got the Chloe Woody tote was because I wanted to wear it in the summer months with dresses. And you guys know the initial Chloe Woody crossbody tote that I wanted was the linen and the brown. The only problem with that one, it was not on the forward website. So I wasn't able to get the 20% off discount count so I had such a hard time finding it I looked everywhere and no luck but I want to give a special shout out to Yolanda on Instagram. Yolanda actually messaged me and she sent me a picture of the Chloe Woody tote. She was like, I think this is the bag that you're looking for. And I saw it at the Saks Fifth Avenue in California. So she was so sweet. She actually gave me the information for that Saks Fifth Avenue. So I was able to call them. They did have the bag I wanted. I was able to place my order and she was able to ship it to me. And I was able to get it today so I did end up returning the black one and I did end up getting this one which I will share now unfortunately I did have to pay full price for this bag but I did have a $25 gift card to Saks Fifth Avenue so it was a little off now let me go ahead and share with you it does come in the dust bag and then I will tell you a little bit more about this bag it is just the cutest and I had the hard I knew that I wanted this like crossbody size and I had the hardest time finding this color, but now that I have this one, even though I thought the black one was really cute and was really unique, as I stated, I had a really hard time matching it up because if I were to wear it with a black dress, which I thought it would look nice with a black dress, I thought, well, it is a linen material, so is the black dress gonna rub off on the linen material? And I thought, oh, I don't know about that. So I did end up returning it and I'm so thankful to Yolanda for telling me that Saks Fifth Avenue had this. And I have a Saks Fifth Avenue card, so I was able to get points on my card for doing this. So I'm really excited about this. Plus, I do own the Chloe Woody sandals, which let me get them and show that with you. Okay, I'm back. I do own the Chloe Woody sandals, and I think that they pair really nicely with this bag. So let's get back into this. I knew I wanted this size because this one is a crossbody. They do also make the small size like this without the crossbody, and that is, I think, like $200 cheaper. But this one, I definitely wanted the crossbody. So you'll see, it just says Chloe, doesn't have feet on the bottom. And then. You take the paper out it does come with this strap I'm so excited and I will try it on for you so I will um, share it with you but while I'm getting this plastic off I just want to say thank you to you guys um, this community is so wonderful and not only because I love filming videos and stuff like that but like you guys are so sweet about reaching out to me if you know that I'm looking for something or I've had a lot of you say hey I saw this and I thought of you and if it wasn't for Yolanda reaching out to me I don't know if I'd be able to find this bag because I really looked everywhere for it and this is a, the specific style that I did one and plus I did get it from Saks Fifth Avenue which is a little more of a reputable department store as opposed to Ford which you know I did have that issue with Ford but I will tell you 
In their defense, my YSL camera bag that I got has been amazing, so that was a good experience compared to the first YSL college bag situation. So here is the strap. You can see it is the brown and it is adjustable. Now this one has like the little buttons that you can adjust. On the inside, she put my receipt and I have to tell you, the lady, her name was Na. She was a sales associate. She was so sweet. I talked to her on the phone and I texted back and forth with her and she was just so helpful. And it's so nice when you can find a sales associate who is so helpful. This comes with the tag. Now this is the, in case you're looking, the small woody tote in white and brown. Here's the tag. And then here is like the authenticity card. So let me go ahead and show you the inside of the bag. It just says Chloe, made in Italy. You can see the inside of the bag is a linen material. And there is like a little pocket there. So it is the cutest little thing. So let me go ahead. I want to try this on to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I am wearing just a plain white dress, and you can see this is how I would wear it. I love the fact that it has handles, so I can wear it as a crossbody like this. I can also just wear it as a little tote if I wanted. Now, if you look on the inside, it does have these little straps, so it is removable if you want to just carry it that way, or another way, you can just wear it as a long shoulder as well but I feel like this brown and linen color is going to match really well like I can picture wearing this with a yellow dress I picture wearing this with an olive green dress I just think there are so many more ways to accessorize with this color pattern and I just found myself having a little bit of a harder time since I did realize the other bag was more of a blue rather than a black as well but this is the bag. Now I thought what I would do is I thought I would share with you really quickly what fits in this bag. Okay, so I do plan on doing a dedicated review once I've had this bag for a while, but let me just share with you really quickly what fits in this cute little small Chloe tote. So I am filming this portion on my phone, but I do have the iPhone XR and that fits in there. And just so you can get a little peek, you can see that it fits all of your necessities plus some. You have this little mini pochette. This is what I keep like lotion and hand sanitizer and all sorts of just little knickknacks. Then I have my little Rosalie wallet. Love this Rosalie wallet. Such a cute, compact wallet, but it fits so much. Then I have my uh, monogram round coin purse, and I have coins in here. And then I also have my little agenda. And then you could also fit a little bit more, but that's all I put in here for now. But you can see, you guys, it does fit a good amount. I tried to pull from some bigger items that I have in my collection so you can really see. So you could also probably put a card holder, you know, as I stated, your phone fits. But I wanted to pull some of my bigger SLGs, like mainly these two, so you could really get a good picture. So this is a good little bag. It is small and cute and compact, but it definitely fits your necessities plus some. Okay guys, there you have it. That is the update to my little Chloe Woody tote unboxing. I did end up returning it and even though I did not get the discount on this bag, I am really, really happy and I am pleased. Now, let me caveat that by saying the blue slash black one was beautiful as well, but this is the initial one I wanted in this size and to be able to get it and have the opportunity to get it, I'm so pleased. So I will try really hard to try to find this and link this down below. If I can't find this one, I will uh, put the other one down below as well, but I'm so excited about this. Thank you again to Yolanda and thank you again to everybody for messaging me. If you ever see something that I like or think I might be interested in, you guys are bad influences and get me in trouble, but I love it. It's a great community. So stay tuned. Once I've had it for a while, I do plan on doing a dedicated video like I do with most of my handbags where I can give you a thorough review, especially on the wear and tear and all sorts of stuff. So thank you guys again for coming along with me. Have a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and follow me on Instagram as well. I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon.